Now that we've defined the proposed profiles for all of the curb returns, I'd like to do one more thing before I start building the corridor models that represent the connections. I would like to define some targets along the edge of traveled way here of Primary Street on the left and right side of the road. To do that, I'm going to open the In Canvas menu. I'll go to Viewport Configuration List and I'll choose Two Vertical. And then in this view on the right, I'm going to click the southwest hotspot of the view cube. And when this rotates up, I will zoom in so we can get a better look at the feature line here at the edge of Traveled Way. Now, my surface is currently on top. Let me select this for a second. I'll right click, I'll go to Display Order, and I'll choose Send to Back. This makes it a little easier to select the edge of Traveled Way feature line. Let's extract this feature line. I'll do that by opening the Feature Line menu, and I'll choose Create Feature Line from Corridor. I'll select the edge of Traveled Way. I'll make sure that's the feature line I'm extracting, and I'll click OK. I'm going to name this Primary Streets ETW Left. We'll keep the default style. I don't want any smoothing. I am going to make this dynamic. That way, if the Primary Street geometry changes, this target will update as well. I'll click OK. I'll press Escape. And you can see that we have a nice target object that we can use when we generate our corridor model here for the Western Approach. Let's do the same thing for the other side of the street. I'm going to pan this over. I'll open the Feature Line menu and I'll choose Create Feature Line from Corridor. I'll select the Edge of Traveled Way Feature Line. I'll select ETW and I'll click OK. We'll name this Primary Street ETW Right. We'll keep the default style, no smoothing. We'll make it dynamic, and I'll click OK. When I'm finished, I'll press Escape. At this point, I no longer need the extra viewport. I'm going to click back in this viewport on the left. I'll reopen the In Canvas menu. I'll go to Viewport Configuration List, and I'll choose Single. I will then pan this up and center the intersection on screen. Now that I have proposed profiles for the curb returns and geometry that I can target along the edge of Traveled Way, I'm ready to start modeling these corridor connections. We'll model the western corridor connection in the next session.